Thus we will fade from this earth and its toiling. Only remembered for what we have done. Only the truth that in life we have spoken. Only the seeds that on earth we have sown. These will pass onward when we are forgotten, only remembered for what we have done. Only remembered, only remembered, only remembered for what we have done. Will pass on word when uh, we what do you have to say about the good life of your father? Growing up to be the daughter of the kind of person that he is, it's actually a privilege because I got to experience firsthand all of his good deeds, the kind of person he is, his influence, his character, his charisma, everything. Being his daughter, definitely he impacted in me with all of those traits and I'm really grateful to be his child. Oh, I pray that God accepts him in his bosom and I pray that he finds peace wherever he is now. What promise are you giving to your father that you're going to live accordingly to the legacy he left behind? Most definitely. An apple does not fall far from a tree, so most definitely I'm going to make him proud. Seeing that our dad is no more, the kind of person he is, is already a boost to them. Maybe they feel like they can't just go on. When they think about the dad they have, I think that's all the boost that they need to get back on track. For your mom, what, what do you have for her? I want her to be strong. I want her to know that she's not alone. She's never alone. Never. Yeah. Even if I'm not there, uh, the Holy Spirit is there with her. It's a comforter. The one that has been comforting me. And I hope that he comforts her too and gives her joy amidst all of the chaos. I want to thank God for everything. Yeah. I'm really grateful to God because to a lot of people it might seem that like it's this is a great loss, but really it's not because we are we are handed over to God now. The like is the ultimate. When I think of something that I need, I have a father to go to. He's my father. When I call on him, he answers with speed. So and I hope that she also have that knowledge that Whatever it is that she wants, that she should know that she has a greater husband man that's ready to take care of all of her needs. She's in great hands. So mommy should check out. Yeah, she should. Okay, beautiful. And to all his fans all over the world that has followed him to pay the last respect, how do you appreciate them? Well, I want to thank all of them for showing up. I appreciate their presence and I want to thank them for being who they are to him, like the respect that they pay to him. And I know that he did not just come like that because he earned it. And I also want them to keep being good, like they should follow the step of the person that they appreciate and look up to, and they should replicate what they see. So, Kocha Ndudu is my name. I'm the elder brother to Chocho from the mother's side. Chocho was a very hard-working young man from secondary school. He has been working hard. He's a man who is dogged, very serious in everything he is doing. He does not believe in people helping him. He believes in himself. He believes in God. He has been very successful. Right from the point of being a baba and to the point where he became property agent or whatever they call him. So Chocho is a nice man, a hard working man. We say God should accept his soul. We also pray for the children that the legacies he left behind will continue. Understand me? He has helped a lot of people in one way or the other. And we hope those people too will reciprocate the kindness he transferred to them, to the children. And he did a very fantastic thing, which I appreciate. He brought the wife into focus. The wife knows much about him and his business. So the business continues without any hindrance. 
because the wife is up to it. What are your words of condolences to his family, that's his wife and his children? Okay, all is that the children should have solace, they should continue in his footsteps. I'd also ask his extended family members to support the children, meet them, call them at any time they are in need so that they help them to solve issues. Uh, my name is Comrade Ugbu Chukwemeke Jackson. Mr. OJ is my box. A few years I worked with him. He lived a life that even those that lived up to 90 years can never accomplish. The years I worked with him in property business, I learned so many things. Him being into my life transformed my life. He's a man that uh, the scars of his death can never leave my mind uh, because he have imparted several ways into my life. So the children, the goodwill of their father, those their father, the people that their father have empowered, and the people that have benefited from their father will never let them down. My name is Prince Agoke Friday. According to Chocho Tiger, he called me Friday Kula. Okay, sir. Uh, what is your relationship with the deceased? It's my bosom friend. I always work at Milan Fabrication Work. What are your ways of condolences to his family? Whatever his husband has left, he should hold it well. Because I know she's a hard-working woman. God created and God take it. Choto Tiger is a hero. I am uh, Victor Ejimkonye Akwebi. He's my cousin. We're also in the same business. Chocho is a kind of person that encourages whoever comes across him. He's a nice man. Hey everybody, keep watching PMTV. I'm giving a shout out to PMTV, people's mind. Yo guys, it's Emeka from Amsterdam, Holland. Go and check PMTV. Hey guys, keep watching PMTV. Nigerians, wherever you are, whether you're in Nugu, Lagos, Abuja, keep on watching People's Mind Television, PMTV.